you're standing outside C.W. Henry School, a K-8 public school in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 2017, our school began incorporating restorative practices through the IIRP's Safer Saner Schools program alongside the Committee for Children's Second Step program, which teaches students skills for developing emotional intelligence. A key part of our success is the regular use of restorative circles in all of our classrooms. Circles can be used to help students get to know one another, to discuss course content, to develop behavioral expectations, or to solve problems. And sometimes, we just use circles to have fun. This video will show you a circle we might hold on a typical day. This is the type of circle we do all the time. We hope this experience inspires you to support the implementation of restorative practices in your own schools and community. I don't really like testing 
period. So. Um, like I know that the keystone is algebra, but I heard this like also science and stuff like that. Is that true? As far as I know, it's just algebra. They have other tests. So there is a science keystone and there is a reading keystone, but you're only taking algebra. Um, I don't really know how to All right, so how I feel about this keystone test? I hate taking tests, especially multiple choice tests, because I don't like it. Yeah. Is there anyone who passed the first time around if you're hearing your classmates' thoughts and feelings would like to share theirs? Um, um, I think the tests, like other testing, I just think it's just like yours. I don't have a lot of knowledge on the keystone, but I know from my experience, I get like really worked out a lot. So, I think so. so, just like with every circle we do in class, sharing your thoughts and feelings about what's going on. Um, rest assured that the keystone is not a life changer with any test. I believe just try your best. Try not to get yourself worked up. You want to try to get as much sleep as possible so that you're well rested and prepared. It takes a lot to be able to share with your peers. And I'm glad that you feel comfortable enough to share. Thank you.